see on the back, I have this amazing, beautiful art picture here on the wall, but the only you see it, I don't see it, right? But sometimes when we look, when we see pictures, right, it makes everything a little bit easier, right? For understanding, I like, oh, you show me a picture, and I'm like, oh, that's what he was talking about. Okay, now that makes a little more sense, right? So I want to give you guys a little bit of a visual representation of what this social media training should look like, right? You know, so now you guys know, right? You guys can call me Louie. Uh, if you guys want, right? But look, uh, let me let me go let me go here, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this stuff. It's gonna be really good, right? So look, uh, I'm gonna start off by giving you guys an idea, right, of what a bad profile looks like. Okay, what's a bad social media? Uh, and I'm not I'm attacking anybody, nothing like that, right? So if you take this personal, hey, you know, look, Lewis had no intentions, right? You know, of going to see you guys. But I'm just going for the match general, right? So everyone can get a good idea of what this is supposed to look like, right? So to start off, guys, look, this is this is what you don't want on your profile, right? <laughs> this is what you do not want, right, on your profile, guys. You do not want, you know, uh, we all have those profiles, right, that we opened up when we were, like, 13 years old, right? You know, we had, we we're taking all these crazy pictures, right? And unfortunately, you guys still have them up. Okay, you guys, you guys got to take those pictures down, right? If they're not convicting the message that you guys want, the, the, the ideas that you guys want to give on your profile, do not post it, okay? So for those of you guys that are, you know, just adding in, I know there's a lot of new people jumping on the Zoom call right now, right? Uh, until we have a whole bunch of Hispanics in this hierarchy, right? Because we're all kind of late. <laughs> but uh, from here, look, guys, look, this is, right, an idea. This is what your profile shouldn't look like. Don't have an old beat up picture of yourself, right? Don't do this to yourself. I'm telling you, it is going to come back and haunt you, right? When you message somebody and they see this, right, would you respond? Nelson, would you respond to this picture, right, this profile picture of this guy that's trying to hit you up with an opportunity? Heck no, right? You know, they're not going to give up. Now, this guy trying to sell you life insurance, right? Would you buy it? Definitely not, right? You know, so there's nothing good is happening. Right, the second one, right, is uh, we all had a uh, raise your hand, right, or put a one in the chat if you guys went to college, right, if you guys went to a state school, right, you know, we had the pleasure. I went to a college as well, right, you know, and I and I did all the fun stuff, but and we all know those people, right, whose whole personality is partying, right. This is not the message that you guys want to convey, right, on your social media, right. You know, you're over here trying to, you know, help people out with an opportunity. You're trying to, you know, make sure that. Um, you get people wanting to join the business, right? You're trying to make it look attractive, right? But you're still living up, you know, your uh, 20s dreams of the Mr. Party Am. Okay, guys, this is this is not the kind of pictures that you guys want on your profile. Maybe one, right? Maybe it's a classic picture, whatever it might be, a nice dinner, right? But you don't want to be, you know, it's every weekend at the club, every weekend the story posts, which is you, you know, at the club, right? Doing something crazy, right? You're over here posting videos. Hey, look, hold my beer, watch this. Right, if you guys are doing that, so I'm telling you, it is not going to go well, and unfortunately, you will not have a lot of results. Right, when you're when you're here trying to you know prospect people or trying to get people to reshare your flyer, all that cool stuff. Right, and the next one is um, do not be smoking right all over your guys' profiles. Okay, you know, keep that private, keep that personal, keep that between you. Whatever, whatever happens, we don't care. Right, but just make sure you do not want to portray that right all over your social media, right? Because unfortunately, right, you know, in modern society, right, it might be cool, whatever, but a lot of people they don't find that professional, right? You know, let me ask you a question, guys. Like, think about it, Juan. If your mom saw this, right, or if your aunt saw you, right, they knew you smoked, whatever, out a smoker, do you think they trust you with their life insurance? They don't know. Heck no, right? They're like, oh my god, this person's all over the place, they're responsible, right? So, this is not. Uh, this is not an example of right a good profile. I'm telling you guys, this is only going to get better, right? So make sure you guys are getting your people on the chat. Make sure you guys are getting your people on the call so this is going so they they need to hear this stuff. Okay. Now the next one is having bad quality pictures. All right, this is the worst worst thing, right? You know, uh, unfortunately, when you have a bad profile, right, and you have bad quality pictures. It just brings down your profile even worse. It just brings it down so much more, right? Why? Because think about it. You can't even see who this person is, right? You know, what professional person, right, has got pictures, right, and, and two megapixels? You know, like, <laughs> it's, like, come on now. 
Like this is this is not this is not it. I'm pretty sure I looked, I saw his picture. I was like, this definitely looks like Jason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't now. Like now, I can't unsee it. I'm like, oh my god, this literally looks like Jason. I, I, I like an I call it a TBLS or something. But um, oh, it, 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 yeah, <laughs> it was a <laughs> picture. I'm just messing with Jason. Right, but um, guys, this is what you don't want. Make sure you guys have good pictures. Like, Karina, if you have a good picture on your profile, it's going to make it so much better, right? Because people are gonna be like, oh, yeah, I can easily put a name to a face. This person looks sharp, right? This person looks like they're onto something. They can see what you're wearing, right? You know, they can see your smile on your face, right? And it just gives you so much more, right? You know, that's things like before the moment. Yeah, exactly. Right, you want to make sure you guys have good quality pictures. I'm telling you guys, if you guys don't have a good quality phone, guess what? Get one. If not, there is, for. I feel like I know at least 700 photographers. How about you guys? I feel like everyone's a photographer, right? I know, I know like a million photographers, right? So, um, guys, make sure, right, that you guys hit up those photography friends that you guys have, right, and have them take you a couple pictures, whatever it is, you have to pay them a little bit. I'm telling you, it is worth it, right? If you're a little bit of an older person, you feel like, man, you know, I don't know if social media is for me, you know, good quality pictures. Well, look, the aviators are a great example. They're not, you know, necessarily old, right? But they have amazing quality pictures, right? Because they invest in making sure that their image looks good, right? Image is very, very important, right? When you're doing anything social media wise, presence, right? Making sure you have good quality pictures, right? That are understandable. And um, the next one is having a bad device, okay? This is crucial. You do not want, right, to have right, um, a, a Samsung, right, you know, the, the Huawei, right, whatever it is that they, that say, like, Bluetooth pairing, right, you guys know what I'm talking about, right, <laughs> you know, this is not what you want, have a good phone, I'm telling you guys, invest in yourselves, iPhones run so much smoother, right, they're so much better, right, I'm telling you guys, don't fight it, don't fight it, right, just go to the, go to your T-Mobile store, and that, whatever it might be, right, and get yourselves a good phone. I'm telling you, it's an investment, right, you're going to be able to take better pictures, right, you're, gonna, you're not going to look green on the chats, right, you know, you're not going to, you know, mess up all the iMessage chats, and uh, I'm telling you guys, Primerica runs so much smoother, right, our apps, everything, the keynote, everything runs so much smoother, right, on Apple devices, okay, so this is crucial, do not have a bad device, I'm telling you guys, it's going to hurt you guys, all right, now, um, the next one, right, that is super, super crucial here is don't be posting about politics, okay? As much as you guys want to talk about, right, the, um, the the wars that are going on, right, you know, how Joe Burr is a horrible president, you know, how, you know, he's 100 years old, right? I know you guys want to post all those memes, whatever, but tell you guys, don't do it because you're going to have some people on your social media, right? That are going to be, man, they're all for, you know, Uncle Joe, right? And then you're going to have the other people, right, that are, you know, all about, right, the trees, the leaves, right? You're going to have all those people that are all about, right, making sure that, you know, Donald Trump, whatever it is, uh, go Brandon, right? I know there's like a million of them, right? Even if you might be on one side, you might be on the other side, it doesn't matter. That's your own opinion. Keep it your own opinion. Do not post about it, right? Because the last thing you guys want, right, for someone to see that, right, Ari, and then they're like, oh my God, this I hate this person, right? This is all, he's always posting about politics. It's always this. It's always a war on here. It's always a political view on, you know, why we need to start driving Teslas everywhere. And then the other guy's posting why Teslas are bad for the environment. It's like, what, 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 what am I supposed to do? Walk everywhere or something? You know, so like make sure, guys, that you guys aren't posting about politics all over the place. I'm telling you guys, right, keep it to your guys themselves, right? This is... um. I don't go into the religion, uh, the religion one because it, that is like completely optional, right? If you want to post about whatever, hey, that's I feel like that's fair game, I, I, in my opinion. But the politics is one that's like it's easily taken to the in in in, in the wrong place. Okay, um, I think I might be correct on that. Right now, um, this is an example of what not to do. Guys, remember, this is what kills people. I have people that come in here and they tell me, Lawrence, why is it that I'm, when I message people, why isn't it working?" Why is it that I don't have, I have sent out 100 messages, I'll get action blocked, and I get no results? Because your profile right, does not look attractive. It, they do not feel like what you're sending them might be someone that's truthful. You don't look real. You don't look like a real person. right? You don't look like someone they'd like to follow. You don't look like a leader. right? So you don't look like someone they've hanged out with. 
you know, and that goes true for you guys as well, right? When you guys are reaching out to people, reach out to people that you feel like would be friends with you guys. Every single person that I brought into, right, uh, or that has come into our team, I can hang out with them one-on-one -on -one for the most part, everybody, right? I have a great time with every single person that's on our team. Why? Because they're all like-minded people just like us, right? They're, you know, they're about their money, right? You know, they're about, you know, having good relationships, right? Making sure they're structured, you know, they're hardworking, right? They like to have fun. They like to enjoy themselves, right? But at the same time, right, when it's it's go time, it's go time, right? So this is the type of uh, environment you want to build, right? You you have to portray that first, right? You have to be that person that you want to attract, right? You want to attract, you know, the, the crazy partiers? Well, guess what? Keep messaging the crazy partiers and having a crazy party profile, right? You're going to keep, that's what you're going to keep getting. If you want to keep tracking, right, you know, the, the people who are, the cybernetic experts, right? You know, the research specialists, right? You know, whatever it might be, right? Keep posting, you know, bad things on your profile. No, don't message good people, right? And keep those old people on your profile. And I tell you, you're going to keep attracting that, okay? But if you want good quality people, then this is what your profile should look like. This is what you should have, right? Your profile picture, right? In Facebook, doesn't matter what you use, right? If it's Instagram, you want to make sure you have a clear profile picture right how many of you guys have seen those people i feel like it's a, like it's a trend nowadays to not have a profile picture right it's like to not like that is a, you can't have that here that is not you're not going to attract anybody right you're unfortunately it's just not going to go you want to make sure you have a good quality picture right and especially it makes it even better if you have a good quality headshot right you know something from here up you look professional right you know ladies will whatever my well groomed, nice makeup, right? All that amazing stuff, right? A nice dress, right? That is good. You want to make sure that when people click your profile, right, on Instagram, right, or they you send them a follow, what do they see? They see that little that little icon and they can see, oh yeah, look, that's that's Nusha. Right? Yeah, look, that's actually her. I I, I know Nusha. Boom. I'll follow you back. And now you have a picture and it's like you're like this, you're like backwards and you're like you know, like, what, like, you can't, you don't know who, you don't know who that is, right? You don't know who that is, right? You do you, like, is this, is this who I think it is? I, I don't know, right? You know, so you're not going to make sure, you're not going to attract everybody. You're not going to get people prone, right, or wanting, right, to follow you back, right, or accept your message or open your message for that time, okay? Um, this, are you guys being something? You guys have any questions? Good. Awesome. All right. All right. Perfect. I'm going to keep going. All right. So the next thing you want to make sure, right, that you have in your profile that makes everything a little bit better is you want to make sure you're posting the office environment. Okay. This might be either on your stories, right? So if I were you guys right now, what I would be doing, right, is I'd be on, on my Instagram and I'd put like nine in the morning training session, getting better, 1% better today, something like that, right? Because people are curious. People like curiosity. People like consistency. Right, so they see, oh God, like, bro, like Juan, he's always posting. Like he's always, he like loves what he does. And this guy's like early morning grinding, like very few people are excited about going to work. Okay, very few people are excited to wake up, right, get to the office, dress nice, right, and get on a 9.30, 10.30 call, right, to get better. Most people are dreading that, okay? So if you guys are out here posting about it, man, happy, enthusiastic, Right? I'm telling you, it's going to make everything so much better. It's going to make everything so much better for you guys, right? And people are going to be more credible, right? Because if they see an office environment, what does that make it? That makes the opportunity what? Real. Right? It's real for the person. They're, oh, yeah, they have a whole building, right? And now you message that person, they see that it's real, they come in, and they're like, this is the same exact office. I was like, oh, my God, look, they're posting that basketball, right, playing that, that other day. I remember it. You know, so it's good because people see, right? And not only that, but people see that it's not just you doing it. So this is all, this is why it's so important that when you post, you make sure you post and you have other people as well. Okay? And you don't all your profile, you don't want it just to be all selfies of you. Right? It's not the kind of that how many guys seen those profiles is just kind of weird. Like they even sometimes look like kind of like scamish. But how, like, how do you not know anybody? Like, how is it just you always like? Kind of like, like this is always you, like you're just by yourself all the time. You know, you got you got no friends, you got no no circle, nothing. Like that that that's red flags right there, right? You know, so make sure that you guys are always, always, always posting a good office environment. Tag your peers, tag your teammates, right? 
you know, make sure that people know where you're at now, but you want to make sure, okay, this is very, very key, right? That when you're posting, you keep the opportunity also kind of like a mystery, right? You don't want to be posting everywhere, right? The Primerica logo, right? Oh my God, I'm working here because what people can do, right? Is they see, oh, so you're working with this place. I'm going to go on Google and I'm going to see exactly what it is, right? And you might see good things and you might see what? Bad things, right? Now, people are not going to get, they're not going to listen to the good things right away, right? There's a, a thousand good reviews and there's 10 negative. What are they going to, what are they going to listen to first? The 10, ne exactly, the 10 negative, the 10 negative comments, right? And now, right, well, that person probably could have been really good. They probably just needed a little bit. They needed to hear from you, right? They needed to come in and see it. But now since you posted Primerica everywhere, you told everyone it was Primerica, it was life insurance, right? They went up, they looked it up. And now, unfortunately, right, you, you lost out on a potentially really good prospect or you lost out on a potentially really great client or someone that can give you some amazing referrals. Okay, I'm telling you, I've seen this by experience. And you might think by doing that, people might see it more credible. But no, I'm telling you guys, they're just they're just going to go out there, do their own look, and they're not going to follow you. I'm telling you, they're not going to go through with it. Now, this is something that's good to have on your profile, right? Things that go really, really well in profiles is something about traveling, right? People want to see that you are someone that is not just a homebody, right? Like, I, like you don't take any vacations. You're always working. Right? You got all this money, but you don't travel, huh? <laughs> you know, like you want to make sure that you're posting things outside the office as well, right? Clean, nice pictures, whatever it might be. Oh, look, beach day, right? You know, whatever it might be. I'm in New York, you know, snowboarding in the mountains. Hey, look, I came to California, whatever it might be, right? The, the company trips. Thank God you mentioned that, Natasha, right? This is a great, great thing to post. The company Right. Once you go on these amazing trips, they actually have a photographer, a photographer full time that takes professional pictures of you guys throughout the whole entire contest. Right. So sometimes you'll see these people, uh, the, the team, the, people, the leaders of our teams have these amazing quality pictures by right, all these different places. It's because the company actually pays them. Right. And you have all access to these high quality pictures. Right. That the great on your profiles. Right. That is make it look credible. You're in a business environment. Right. You're in a seminar. And it makes everything look a little bit more attractive. Just makes everything look more real. The whole point of this guy that I want you guys to get is you want to have a profile, right, that's relatable, that looks real, that looks classy, right, but at the same time also portrays yourself, right? You don't also want to be somebody, right, that, you know, is Instagram is a certain way, but when you meet them in person, they're a completely different way. You know, you want to have a good balance of everything, right? Good business life, classy, travel, right, have, knows to have fun, has, you know, a circle, right, and also is in a, in, in a good place, right, you know, that looks attractive to join, okay? Now, uh, next up, another good thing that does really well is you want to make sure you guys post outdoor activities, okay? Outdoor activities are are, are essentially really, really good. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Uh, what's coming next, right? You know, um, outdoor activities is good, right? You know, so for those manly men, right, you know, that like hunting, whatever it is, fishing, that's good. There's a specific niche just for that, right? You know, it's like where people love, really, really like that, you know? So it, all that does is it makes you look more credible and it gives people something to talk about, okay? Like, oh my God, man, you're into fishing? Like, that's so dope. Like, no way, me too. You see, like, I, I man, I, you know, what? where's your favorite spot? Like, what do you, you know, what have you caught? What's the big, they're just me too conversations. Whatever it might be, if it's camping, right? I know some people like, you like cars. I love cars, right? You know, like post it, go to meet whatever, meet people, right? You know, because there's people out there that are like-minded just like you. You see, so if they see that, man, you're always posting super clean cars in your story, right? You know, you're always posting nice watches, whatever it might be. People have the same idea. Like, man, like this is, this is so dope. This person is like-minded. They got the same similar mindset that I do, okay? Now, um, from here, before we get on to the, the, the other steps, right, that I want to talk about today is, guys, you want to make sure, telling you, I want to harp on this one more time, you know, make sure you guys go out there and get yourself an iPhone. I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be the newest one, but do it. Everything runs so much smoother, especially with Prime Erica. It makes your life so much easier. Go ahead and make sure you guys get uh, a nice, a nice phone, right, for yourself to take some nice pictures, whatever it might be, right? Make sure you can stop of turning the group chat screen, okay? <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you guys. But um, guys, this is a little bit of what I wanted to share 
right um through through my ipad um now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to give you guys a little bit of something when it comes to um what your what your bio should look like because i feel like that's something that's very very important you want to make sure that your bio also looks good you want to make sure that your bio is something that looks attractive that people when they see it they're like yes exactly like that's that is what i want my profile like that's someone that i i want to follow it has to look good it has to look professional right it's got to depict something especially as to what you do you want to have in your bio something as to who you are and you also don't want to say too much Okay, I sometimes have people that see their profile and it just says way too much. Okay, so for example, this is uh, what my kind of uh, the headline of my bio looks like. Okay, so is as you guys can see, when you look me up, it's it's my name. Right, we sometimes have uh, we've all seen these people that their profile is like XJY three three seven B three nine like. No one knows who you are, man. Like, they, I can't tell, right? That's Ryan and that's Ari, right? You know, that's Krita because I don't know who it is, right? So if I, what I would suggest is on your, like the header, right? When people look up your profile and they put in the search bar, they can see your name, okay? They can see your name. They see who it is or something similar to your name, right? You know, my the one that I had before was Louis C15, right? And then I realized that I can get Louis underscore Kameho uh, underscore. Right. That something simple like that. Now, what I also have is you guys can see there, right? You know, a, a nice headshot. Oh, it disappeared. Okay, there we go. All right, a nice headshot, right? You know, so nice picture so people can see who it is, right? They have an idea, they can put a name to a face, right? And it makes it a little bit easier. I also, which is super, super important, you don't just want to have one picture, right? You want to have multiples of picture, right? Three, five, 10, 15, right? 20 pictures. Right. And they don't all have to. And you, what you don't want is you don't want all your pictures to be have been posted in like one month. Right. You know, if you've lost those profiles that, you know, all the pictures like are in one month. Like what the heck? Like what it, were you just like born yesterday or something? Like you have no like you have no past life. Like, like what did you do your whole thing? Like, how did you did you get a new Instagram? Like what happened? People want to see longevity. They want to see consistency. They want to see, you know, don't you guys remember in high school uh, reading the coming of age books? Right? Why are they so popular? It's because people like, you know, a story, right? Someone going from here and going all the way up here. Okay. So you want to make sure your profile so does the same thing, right? It's a coming of age, right? You're getting older. You're growing your family. You know, you're growing your business from the moment you started to the moment that, you know, you now you're on top. Success stories. People love success stories. Movies, right? You know, don't you always love those movies right? when people are absolutely nothing and they become at, 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 like the top of the top? For example, great example, Wolf of Wall Street. Probably not, a good, not the best example, but, you know, definitely a good example of what I'm talking about, okay? You know, so now from here, um, as you guys can also see, what you guys don't want Right, is you guys don't want to have a profile where you have uh, 500 followers, yet you're following 9,000. Like I'm telling you, this might be, this might sound weird, this might sound uh, not not come right off, but people will not follow you, right, just because, right, you follow more people than the people that follow you. It's a sad reality, man. I don't know what this world has to come to nowadays, right, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> right if you do not want to have i think i don't know why like it like, seems like it like, ruins your credibility like more people are, are you follow more people than people that follow you okay make sure at all points in times that you guys have a nice clean profile good picture but at the same time you want to make sure you have a good following count all right and here's the rule of thumb right when you if you want to follow a lot of people because when i first started here in primerica i only had like 400 500 followers and nothing crazy, but what did I do? As I kept posting pictures, I kept adding people, you know, kept thinking up my profile. As I followed more people, more people would follow me back. And you guys still believe it, but there's still people that I follow that don't follow me back. So what do you guys think I do when they don't follow me back? Unfollow. Unfollow. It's that simple. It's that simple. You see, it's not that hard. It, I know it takes some time. I know you guys don't want to take out 10 minutes every day, right, to unfollow the people, but it's going to be worth it. I'm telling you. All right, we if we're already on our phones all day. We might as well make sure we're working on making ourselves more more presentable and more credible, right? People that don't follow you, unfollow them, right? You're wasting up time. You're wait. You're wasting up 
uh, you know, numbers and digits right on your account. Okay, so the way some digits. I don't even want to look at your profile anyway, right? You know, unfollow them. Unfollow them and go ahead and follow some more people. Follow, follow, follow some more people. And then unfollow. And as you clean up your profile, you're going to see it. You're going to get more people follow you back. It's crazy how that works, right? Mm -hmm. Now, next up from here, as you guys see, I have my full name in my bio. In my bio, you should have your full name. It, should, it shouldn't be uh, get money, yo, Juan. It shouldn't be uh, that 813 poppy uh, Juancito, you know? No, you want to make sure you have you have your full name, right? So, for example, mine is Luis Camejo, right? Another thing that I have on there, right? Something about yourself, right? I put, you know, TPA. I'm from Tampa, right? Uh, Tampa, Tampa Rays, right? You know, so uh, Florida man, right? So this is this is this is super good, right? Because people want, you know, they want to know where you're at. Like, it's good so people know exactly where you're coming from, right? You know, Florida, whatever it might be. You don't want to put like. You know, like Florida gang gang or something like that. You know, that's not what you want, right? But just keep it nice and simple, right? In Miami, put MIA, you know, New York, NYC, right? You know, Jersey City, whatever it might be, Cali, you know, you know the vibes, right? So all that stuff, right? Something like that, something nice, simple, clean, right? If you guys can see that, right? Next thing you want to post, right, is you want to post your title. This is something that's good. Right? I'm giving you guys a template. If you guys don't have a good bio, and if you got in the the way that you that you that you get a response, as if you have a good bio, show it to the the peers around you. Show it to your teammates. Show it to your you know your coaches, and be like, hey, is this a good profile? <laughs> Do you guys think it needs a little bit of something? And they'll be honest with you guys, right? Because you might see something a certain way, but they might be like, oh, yeah, this this might need us. This might need to go. You see, so. Let's get those get those um outside opinions. I'm telling you, it goes a long way, right? So what do I have? I have my, I have I got this actually from Gabby, right? I got my my whole entire bio I got from Gabby, right? So I put on there regional vice president. If you're a new person, right? Let me know how sexy this sounds, right? Senior representative, <laughs> right? Senior representative, right? I'm gonna give you guys another one. Division manager. You see, junior broker. You see, those are all those are all little little things that you can put. You know, like millionaire in training. You see, like those are all really really good things that you guys can put. I'm giving you guys some ideas, right? That you guys can have on there, right? Now, you want to make sure that this is if you want to make sure you have a clean profile. You want to attract not only uh, new teammates but also maybe potential clients. What I have, right, is I have the list of services, right, that our company specializes in, that I feel like are the most attractive, right? So I have on there investments, right, insurance, right, mortgages. I might not do some of those services, but they get that in my office, right? So if someone says, yo, Louis, we do mortgages, yeah, I do mortgages and I sit down. I don't do any mortgages, right? Some of the office does. But I still have that person in front of me, so now they understand what I'm doing, and maybe I can sneak in a little plan behind there. Right, the life insurance, the investments, and be like, you know what? And you go talk to Bryn. She's a, she's our invest, she's our mortgage specialist in the office. You gotta go talk to her. You see, and I set up that consultation right after they have sat down with me and after they have understood everything. Right? If someone tells you, oh, I need a will, oh yeah, we do wills. Right. But on there, what am I gonna talk about? I'm gonna talk about the investments, the insurance, throw one in there, and be like, hey, look, here's a, the will plan that we offer as well. You give people what you want, but at the same time, you also tie in there what you want to make sure you, you get across. Okay. Now, um, are you, everything good so far? Any questions, anything? No, solid. Any, anyone in the chat uh, on zoom land? Yeah. You know, something like that. Good. Awesome. All right. Perfect. We're going to keep going. All right. So if you guys can see on here, another thing that I have, right. Is I also have right. Uh, um, a little quote. Right, a little quote, quote goes a long way. You don't want to make sure you don't, you're not putting like quoting the whole entire uh, Matthew's book, also like on your bio, right? You know, the, or the Proverbs, but you want to have something small, something nice, something clean, right? You know, I, I put on there, always deliver more than expected. So a little, a little message. You put a, they don't know exactly what it means, right? Either it can come off as one thing or another, whatever it might be, but it's something that, you know, looks good. All right, a little something just to give it a little more substance. Right? You just want to make sure you you have a little bit of some uh, of substance on your account. It looks like a real person, right? But think about it. 
this guy messaged you, right? You know, if you guys followed you, would you follow him back, right? Does this person look like a real person? Yeah, that's all. That's it. That's all you guys want. That's all you can. That's all you can do. All you can do is all you can do. And you guys wouldn't believe it, but even with my profile, Karina, I still have people that don't follow me back. I still have people that don't open up my messages. But what does it do? It gives me a better odd of when I do it, I get more people. All right, and this is how we found a lot of our amazing teammates is through social media, guys. It's it's not the only way, but it's a way of doing. It. Okay, this is how we managed to, to you know build a lot of our teams and help our teams teams grow. Right, it's through social media. Right, a lot of our leaders have been found through social media in one way or another. Right, so when people tell you, oh, you can't do this through social media, that is a lie. Right, you just got to do it the right way. You just got to make it look good. Right, you don't want to be that person. Right, that has um, that has this profile. Right, this person probably makes Primerica look bad. Right, this person probably makes Primerica look bad. Right, this person definitely makes Primerica look bad. You see, but what if this guy messages you? Right, you know, it makes everything a little more easy. It makes everything a little more credible. Right, and if you see on my profile, right, uh, these are a little bit of older pictures, but I have a little bit of everything. You see, I have I have pictures with my partner. Uh, with friends, right, in a suit. I have pictures dressed down outside at the beach. I have a little bit of everything. You see, so it's not just one one profile where your whole life is the office. How is it, man, that like, your whole life is, is, is work? Like, I don't even think I want to work with you, man. Like, you're just going to pull me into something where <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be working all day. No, I want to also have some fun. You see, so make sure your profile looks a certain way like that. You're constantly, constantly making sure you get good, good results, okay? Now, let's go up here, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of something as to um, what's something good that works out, okay, that works out to making sure you guys get more people, right? You know, what should your message say, right? So um, you got to make sure you test out different things, okay? I'm, I'm going to say this because they um, they kind of all work. Okay, all the ways of reaching out to people, they all kind of work. But different people like different things. Some people might see something and it might attract their eyes, their subconscious minds to open it over something else. So you constantly want to be trying different things, whatever. But if there's something that has been working for a long time, use it, right? That's the constant, okay? So from here, what has worked for me, right? What has worked for my brother? This is what we all have always done. Right? When we reach out to people, we always want to sound relatable. Right? Like, yo, what's up, man? Yo, how are you? Yo, what's up, brother? Hey, sis. What up, sister? You see? Like, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta act a little bit, you know, uh, like like in connection with that per that with that person it makes everything a little bit easier. Right. So on here, what did I put? Look, hope everything has, is going amazing. Right. I see you have your own business, and I was wondering if you want to do a business shout out for shout out. Right now, my office is expanding, right? Since we're short stock. Right, and maybe I can help you. You can help out me. Right. So according to certain situations, I'm going to change it up. Right. So here, I think there was a there was a hurricane, and there's like a twenty five dollar IBA. So I thought, you know, right now we're short stock due to the hurricane. Right. People don't know. Right. But what does it do? Is it okay? Now give me something. Right. I'll post for you. Right. So what do I do? Right. If you guys saw here, right. This isn't that. Yo, look. Are you looking for an opportunity? No. I'm. This is like the takeaway close. Right. So the takeaway close, right, is when you kind of want this person to come across that, you know, that you're looking for people, but you don't want to necessarily say, yo, I'm, you know, do you want to join me? Right. Because sometimes people, they don't want to buy anything. People don't want to join anything. Right. But if you say, look, this is what I'm doing. Maybe you might know somebody. Right. Once they see what it is, they might be like, yo, that somebody is me. I'm looking for something. Right. You wouldn't believe the amount of times that happens to us. OK, but if not. In the meantime, what you want to do is a takeaway close, right? So if you know a person, you know, we all have those people on our Instagram that they're just like professional tradesmen, right? One of them is like the a barber. The other one, you know, he's a plumber. The other one does remodeling, right? The other one was landscaping, right? You want to have those people on your profile. Why? Because they have their own market, right? And their own client base. And what do you have? Your own market and your own client base. And you have your own, your own groups of people that you guys know. Right. So now when you share right with the plumber, their flyer on your account and, and the flyer and the plumber posts your flyer on their account. Now you guys just reach a new audience of people. Right. You guys just expanding your business somewhere else. Right. With the completely different people that probably didn't know what you were doing. This is good. This is good because you're, you're meeting new people. 
right? New people are looking at your page. New people are looking at your account. New people are looking at, oh my God, you're doing this. And they don't necessarily know you, but just by having a good credible account and that person that they know posting for you, it makes everything that much more credible. You see, because we might know, we might know Ari. I might follow Ari and you actually know Ari, right? So if you post a flyer, right? And you're more likely to get Ari to respond to your post. But if I message Ari, and Ari Ari, she's probably not going to respond to me because she doesn't know me. Or she might see it on my page and she might be like, oh, I don't know about this. One week later, they see it from Ryan and now she joins up with Ryan. How many times have you guys not seen someone that you know walk into this office? That's the worst thing I can, that, that's, the, that's the worst thing, right? And the reason is because somebody else posted a flyer that they had a better relationship with and they, or that woman was just right for them. And guess what? They responded to them. It's that simple, right? So what do you want to make sure you do? You want to make sure that all points in time people are getting what you're doing, right? And the people that are always doing that are the ones that are utilizing social media. They're the ones that are doing it the right way, right? So instead of getting bitter, right, just get better. Right? And, and, and work on that stuff so like that doesn't keep happening, okay? Because it's going to keep happening, <laughs> okay? So as you guys can see, nice, short, simple message, right? Hey, look, you know, I see you have a business account. So today, right, if I were you guys and I didn't have much activity, I'd be going through my social media and I'd be looking at who do I know that does something? Who do I know has a business? Who do I know posts something related to work? And that, yo, what do you do? Personal trainers, whatever it might be. People that do nails. People that do eyelashes, right? People that, that do hair. Whatever, waxing, exchange contact, business shout out for business shout out. Right, you're a DJ. If I ask you, bro, can I post your flyer? What would you say? Of course, right? That's expanding his network of people. Who wouldn't say, who would turn that down? You see? So now we have a little bit of a relationship. Now it's easier. Now it comes across. Now I might even sneak in there. Yo, I'm actually looking for people. You seem kind of sharp. Are you ever thought about this or not? No? All right, really cool. Why not? You see? So from here, he said, yeah, I just send it over. I'll post it, right? I made sure I got his business card, right? You know, remember, you always deliver more than people expected. The last thing you want is for you, you send that, that person a flyer right away, right? And uh, they post it and you never post it back. You never post theirs, right? What I do is I post theirs first. So they see, they get the notification like two, three times, right? Because they got my message that I, that I posted the flyer, or right? I saw that I reacted to the, the post as well, right? So now they got like two, three messages, right? That I share this for them, acts of service. And now they're going to be like, okay, I'll post that flyer a little quick. Because we've all had those people that we sent the flyer to and then like they posted nine hours later. Like, bro, I sent that to you like at, at 10 in the morning. How did you get into it next day at five? You see, like, if you want to get it right away, we need a little bit of urgency, right? Do the act of service first. And people will be like, okay, yeah, this person's on it. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. I'll take a little minute out of my day to do that. Okay? Little stuff like this. Little stuff like this goes a long way. And right there, you see, I sent the flyer, right? What I would do for you guys, do a flyer that you guys like. Do a flyer that you guys think is attractive. Something that has worked before. Something that your, your coaches have given you, your teammates. They all work. Sometimes it's just like some one flyer might work one week better than the other week. You know, like right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flyer. I'm going to make another flyer. I'm going to do this for social media this week. Ask to Thanksgiving. I'm going to do a Thanksgiving flyer. Right? Something with like a couple of turkeys and flowers and stuff like that. Right? Why not? All right? And then next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Christmas flyer. Right? Who wants to make an extra $3,000 before Christmas? Come on my team. Get a list. Right? Something like that. Right? You just want to make sure you change things up. Right? As I told you guys, people seeing pictures. People seeing colors, right? Something might attract, you know, Prisad's eyes over Nusha's, right? Maybe it's a tone of color. Maybe it's a, a, a certain font. But you might not know what that is, right? But if, you, if you're constantly changing it up, if you're making it creative, right? You're spicing things up, the sizes, the fonts, the backgrounds, right? You just want to make, make sure you get creative with the stuff. Social media is all about being creative and being yourself, okay? So um, from here, as you guys see, this is another example, right? I sent the same thing, right? Some people, they won't have it, right? Some people won't have a, um, they don't have a business, right? So I'll have, I'll, sometimes I message people and be like, oh, bro, um, I actually don't have anything. You know, I don't have a business or anything like that. But um, I mean, I'll still post here, right? That happens a lot, right? So, okay, I'll post that for you, right? 
And or sometimes what I'll do is I'll ask that person, hey, well, look, do you have somebody that you really like that has a business or that's self-employed and or an entrepreneur and you want me to share their flight for acts of service? Right. So now this person's like, okay, yeah, this is and that actually happened to me. You know, we um uh, someone that I know, right? Look at this right here. This guy named uh kind of funny his name's um Mexican gentleman. I was gonna say his name, but you know, I forgot his name now. Um, he does, he, he, I think he works on like a power plant or something like that. And he's like, bro, I, I don't have my own business. Like, but guess what? Look, I have a friend in real estate. Can you share his flyer? Like, bro, no words. I shared it. He shared mine. Got like a whole bunch of people from that. I think we did like 2,500 with, with one recruit. Um, unfortunately she's not here, but hey, whatever. It worked, right? She helped out a couple of people in her family, right? And uh, from that, you never know what those little pulses that you did, right? With that new recruit. What that impact and having that person 10, 20 years later when a tragedy happens. And they look back and they're like, man, thank God I joined that little, I, I responded to that post, that post, and I joined the little company, right? You know, and um, I helped my family get life insurance. Because now, because of that little post I was sent out, you know, my family is sitting on $300,000 more wealth, right? And my mom didn't have to lose her house. Right. So sometimes we see the small picture. I'm like, I'm just trying to get a check. But sometimes you guys see the, the bigger picture as well. Like, guys, what we do here is actually important. You know, when you guys send out that message, it goes a long way. Right. It can go a long way, not only for you, for a client, for a referral. Right. Someone who's just praying, someone who's just sick and tired of being sick and tired and is looking for something new. But because that day you didn't want to send out a couple messages. Right, if you scroll past that good account, right, because you thought they wouldn't post for you, right? Now you just missed out on a on an amazing person. Okay, so I'm telling you guys, talk to everybody. This might be the same in person on Zoom, doesn't matter. Okay. So um if you guys have any questions as to the post, as to like the messages, anything? No, solid. All right, perfect. No worries. So let's go on through here. And now um, this is a big mistake that I see a lot of people make. Okay, on social media, all right, is that they go ahead and they schedule the whole appointment, right, through the DM, through direct messaging. No, this is a big, big mistake. I'm telling you guys, this might work for a couple of people, but it doesn't work for everybody. You're going to get people that don't show up to your appointments. You're going to get people that reschedule, right? You're going to get people that don't show up to the office, okay? So the best way to do this, right, is once you get someone to reach out to you, Right? They say, hey, I'm interested. What you guys want to do is, hey, what is your full name right, and a good contact number so I can give you a call and explain to you more information? Okay, You want to make sure you get their number. And if you don't feel comfortable making the phone calls yet, you ask your trainer, you ask your mentor, your coach, right, or a teammate to do it for you right, until you feel comfortable doing it by yourself. Any questions? Good? Awesome. Solid. Right? So you want to make sure on that phone call, what should you say? You should say, hey, you know, you present yourself, good tonality, good voice, right? And you reach out to that person right away, right? Don't let that number sit for a couple of days. I'm telling you, this is a big mistake, right? Because people, right, it's like the flavor of the day. Today, they might be interested, but tomorrow they're not, right? You want to get it while it's warm, right? Get it while it's hot. All right? Call, reach out to that number right away as soon as you get it, right? And schedule that appointment. Hey, you know, my name is Louis Kameh. I'm a regional vice president, right? I, I saw you were interested, you know, so thankful for your phone call, right? What do you currently do? Hey, I run a management finance firm, looking for people, right? What do you do? How do you like, do you keep your options open to make them more money for time money to the right? Yeah? Okay, when's a good time for you to schedule a Zoom call come to my office? I'm available today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, morning or afternoon? The afternoon, or would you say three or four? Doesn't work for about five or six. Okay, six. Awesome. Let's set it up for six o'clock. All right, grab my address. And this is what you want to do. If, you, if you're sending people in person to the office, this and you're making a phone call, this is a really, really great tip. What I usually do when scheduling an in-person appointments, when you're giving out the address, okay, like, right, my office is 8708, whatever, um, North Hill Mabry 33618. All right, what I'll say is look, all right, can you read it back to me? Make sure you got it correctly. Right, because what this does is make sure that the person actually wrote it down. Right, because sometimes we have people right that 
you know, they, they are super, super flaky and they don't actually ever even get the address, right? This is a good way to get people, right? This, you would just want to make sure you put people through the fun, get more and more, all right? And another thing that really makes appointments setting a lot more successful, this is what makes appointment setting really, really go a long, long way, right? Is when you're setting up these appointments, all right, and people don't pick up, you want to make sure you send that right there. Okay, if you guys say if, if they don't pick up, it says, hey, Gianni, I'm reaching out to you on behalf of Patrick, or I work from home position, reach out whenever you have two minutes. I'll send a little text message like that. If they don't pick up the phone call, once they give me the number. All right, if they do pick up the phone call and I am able to set up that appointment, what do I do? I send them a text confirmation. Okay, in that text confirmation, this is what it says. Look, and I send it right away. So it looks like it's like an automated like text message. Right? It makes it look so much more attractive. I'm telling you, all this does is it gives yourselves more credibility. Like if you guys aren't doing this, I would highly, highly suggest you guys do this if you guys are getting people that reschedule, don't show up to your Zooms, right? People that don't show up to the office, send this right here. Hey, make sure you set a reminder. Have Zoom downloaded and a clean Zoom background. All right, I'm already setting the expectation and I'll, and I'll send them in that same message. I'll send a meeting ID, right? 481-136-8936, password 3695, right? Via Zoom, Thursday at 4 p.m. Hiring manager, right? Trainer, whatever it might be, senior representative, right? Alejandro Camejo, Luis Camejo. And the Zoom link right attached under it as well. All this does, guys, it just gives you more credibility. All this does is it makes everything a little bit more smoother. It makes it more real for people. If you got, have got something from this today, I hope you guys got that all you want to do is make things more real for people. Okay, make it look, make it make more sense, right? Make it look more professional for them. Okay, this is this is some really good stuff. I'm telling you guys, this this is what has up Alejandro and I over the last time, right? Really, really, really do something amazing here. Okay, and this is is this simple. All we have is we just have a lot of people that know how to do this. We're not much better than all of you guys. I'm telling you, we've just been here a little bit longer and we've just done the work a little bit longer. All right, but if you guys continue doing the same work that we did and you guys just keep multiplying yourselves, you guys will too have the same results. You guys will too be making eighteen, twenty thousand dollars a month. You know, you guys will also run an amazing team, right? And be, you know, really, really well set up, right? You know, for yourselves in the future. You guys, have, you guys have to do what we're teaching you guys to do, right? The, the thing that I love about Primerica is that it works, right? And that there's constant examples of it working, right? So if you guys are a person that's a believer and you guys see, okay, but Lewis is no better than I am, right? He's no better than me, right? He's got two legs, two arms, and he can communicate just like I can. I can do this too, right? That's how you guys should be thinking. If he's teaching us, what the heck? Why not? I'm telling you guys, we don't hold anything back on these trainings. Like, I give you guys everything that I do because I want all of you guys to win, right? If you guys go out and you guys are making two, three hundred thousand, you know what that's going to do to the company? That just means we're making more money. That just means we're more credible. That means we're helping out more people. That All that means is that the company stock is just growing more and more, right? So now, guess what? We're all happy. A business is growing, it's getting more legit. Right, so this is why we need constantly more and more people that are going out there and being examples of a good, successful Primerica story, not a bad one. Right, you don't want to be that person that joined, unfortunately, never got licensed, never made any money here, because unfortunately, you're going to have a bad taste after the company. If someone comes in and you don't make the dollar, they don't get licensed. Do you think they're going to have anything good to say about Primerica? No. No, why not? And in reality, it wasn't even Primerica, it was dumb. But since you didn't help them and you didn't, you know, kind of, how I say, force them into seeing success, you're not going to do it. You got to take advantage of people while they're here, right? And make sure that you have them see results. People that see results here, unfortunately, very, very few of them don't leave. And if they do, it's because they have something personal going on that was much bigger than the opportunity. Right, sometimes we can't do anything about that. Okay? But um, so far, any anything you guys want to meet to reiterate one more time um, on Zoom, in person, anything? You guys want to see some funny pictures again? Oh. Sure you see <laughs> right? You know, this is my favorite one, right? That, that one's definitely, that one's definitely a money major, right? You know, so the, the guys, hopefully you guys really enjoyed the social media training. Um, I was up all night, um, all morning, right? You know, really preparing something really good for you guys. Go back to that. Um, 
the picture that and then we send that text out. Yeah. Of course, the treasure was screenshot from the shop. Yeah, no worries. This one right here. Um, yeah, guys, this is um, kind of what I wanted to share with, with the social media is, is make sure that at all points in time, you guys are making things look awesome. Make sure your profile looks good. Be a real person. And the only way that, that, that social media works is if you do it. Right? You got to consistently work at it. Right? We got to consistently see results. So people who are amazing at social media, the people that constantly are doing it, constantly sending out the messages, right? You don't have to be a do a million every single day, but you know, every day do a little bit of something. Get a couple people to post for you, get a couple people to respond, get a couple people, right, and message them, follow a couple people. Right. And the last thing I want to reiterate on social media that gets a lot of results, right? Um, one thing that really, really doesn't work is a lot of the times is you message people right away after following. So I follow you, Karina. You follow me back, and two minutes later, you already got a message. Again, like, what the heck? You just follow me to, to get something out of me? <laughs> you know, people can see that, right? But if you message them, right, and you build a little bit of a relationship with them, Right, you let it pass a week, three, four days, right? And in those three, four days, right, you saw them, they posted something at the gym, right, getting coffee in the morning, right, going whatever it might be of, uh, you know, going to the beach, you know, and you hearted one of their posts, right? You know, you you sent a fire emoji, right? When you saw them at the, you know, in the soccer, playing soccer in the mornings, whatever it might be, right? What that does is it builds a little bit of a relationship. Right now, it makes it okay. This person, all right, okay, I see this person, the real person, right? They're active, right? Now, you message them on Friday, yo, what's up, man? Can I ask you a quick question? Now, are you gonna respond with more likely to respond? Yeah, right? Because that relationship has already been built up, it makes it a little bit easier. The things rolls a little bit smoother. That's all you guys want, right? That's that, that's what makes everything a little bit easier, okay? But, um Hopefully you guys got something. I'm super, super proud to be your guys' teammate. I'm telling you guys this stuff works. This stuff really, really does work. And uh, there's a lot of people in the, in the company that are absolutely killing it with this stuff. Um, but let's make sure we have a packed out schedule. As you guys know, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Um, if you guys have appointments, do them. People are home. Take advantage of that time. Um, talk to the, the family about what we do. Right, Get some referrals. Right, Sell some insurance. It's a great time to do that. Okay, and just reconnect, make sure you keep building bonds. But uh, with that being said, I'm proud of you, your guys' as coach, your teammate, you know, and I'm always here for you guys need anything, okay? Never feel like, you know, uh, you guys can't reach out and ask me any questions. I'm always here for you guys. If I don't see them right away, I promise you guys I will get to them um, at some, some point if I see them. But um, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Let's kill it because you guys know who we are. Uh, we are. Hey, 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 h